Hello, welcome to Master Math. My name's Stan Lyle, and today we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing integers. During the lesson, you'll come across some You Try It pages. When you get to one, hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward button to move on to the answer. Math is easy, you will do well. Math is easy, you will do well. I, 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 I hope that worked. I paid a lot of money to buy from special CIA agents a hypnotic slide that will hypnotize you and allow me to convince you of anything I want. And I've now convinced you that math is easy and you will do well learning to multiply and divide integers. I'm going to assume you guys know how to multiply and you guys know how to divide, uh, but I bet a lot of you get a little confused determining what the sign of the outcome is going to be in a multiplication product problem or a, a division problem. And it can be a little confusing. Those are the factors of the problem. We're, we're dividing 6 by minus 2. And 6 as a sign. It's positive. If there's no sign shown, then, then we assume it to be positive. And 2 has a sign. It's minus 2. That's 6 divided by minus 2. Well, if I divide a positive number, like 6, by a negative number, my minus 2, is my answer going to be positive or negative? The factors in this multiplication problem are minus 11 and minus 2. I've got a minus number times a minus number. Will my results be negative or positive? Well, there's some easy rules you can remember to help you figure this out. If the signs of both the numbers you're working with are positive, then your answer will be positive. If the signs of both of the numbers you're working with are negative, then your answer will also be positive. If the sign of both of the numbers you're working with are different, one is positive and one is negative, then the answer is going to be negative. If both of the numbers you're either multiplying or dividing by are positive, the answer is going to be positive. If they're both negative, the answer is also positive. So, if the sign of the two numbers you're working with in a multiplication or a division problem are the same, they're both positive or they're both negative, then the answer is going to be positive. But if they're different, if the signs of the two numbers you're working with are different, one's positive, the other's negative, then the answer is going to be negative. Positive 6 times positive 7 gives us a positive 42 result. Negative 6 times negative 7 also gives us a positive result. But if one of the signs is different in the multiplication or the division problem, then you're going to get a negative answer. Well, what happens if I've got more than two numbers in this problem? For instance, in this example, I've got minus 6 times 5 divided by minus 2. Will my answer be positive or negative? Well, that's kind of easy. All you have to do is do one problem or one part of the problem at a time. For instance, in minus 6 times 5 divided by minus 2, let's do that part first. Minus 6 times 5. Minus 6 times 5 equals minus 30. I've got one negative and one positive, so my answer is going to be negative. Now my problem is minus 30 divided by minus 2. The minus 2 I haven't changed. I got a negative number divided by a negative number. Negative divided by negative is going to give me a positive answer. 15, or excuse me, 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now you try it. Minus 6 times 6. Hit the pause button, do the problem on, on a piece of paper, and then hit the forward button to see the answer. I've got a negative number 
times a positive number. So I've got one of each signs. My answer is going to be negative. 6 times 6 is 36, so minus 6 times 6 is minus 36. Try this one. Just like in the last problem, I've got a positive number and a negative number that I'm working with. And if one's positive and one's negative, the results are going to be negative. 35 divided by minus 7 is minus 5. Well, in this one, both of the numbers we're working with are negative. So if I've got two negative numbers, or both the signs are the same, then my answer is going to be positive. Minus 10 times minus 6 equals 60. The number of moose in North Country Park near Minneapolis has been decreasing over the past five years. The table shows the estimated number of moose. What was the mean annual change in moose population? If you forget, mean means average. To average, you sum up the changes and divide by the number of changes to get the mean. Well, the changes of moose population were minus 20 between the first year and the second year, and then they lost 45 moose, and then they gained 10 moose, and then they lost 35 more moose. So we have to add those up. Minus 20 plus minus 45 plus 10 plus minus 35, and that totals up to minus 90. Now we've got minus 90 divided by the number of uh, units that we added up, 1, 2, 3, 4, so minus 90 divided by 4 is 22 and a half. Evaluate the expression x times 2y divided by z, where x equals 6, y equals minus 5, and z equals minus 2. Okay, well they tell us that x equals 6, y equals minus 5, and z equals minus 2. So we have to substitute into the equation x times 2y divided by z. We have to substitute into that equation 6 where x was. And where y was, we have to substitute minus 5. And where z is, we have to substitute minus 2. So the equation becomes 6 times 2 times minus 5 divided by minus 2. 6, I solved that part of the expression, 2 times minus 5, I got a positive number and a negative number. My answer is going to be negative. 6 times minus 10 divided by minus 2. Now I'm going to do the first part of this equation, 6 times minus 10, and that's minus 60. My minus 2 comes down in exactly the same format. Now I've got minus 60 divided by minus 2. That's a minus divided by a minus. I'm going to get a positive answer, positive 30. Well, that's our lesson on multiplying and dividing integers, and I hope you found it helpful. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info, find the tab for worksheets, under 7th grade first quarter, you'll find a worksheet entitled Multiplying and Dividing Integers. Download it, print it, and try it on your own. And come back to mastermath.info real soon.